Hey guys, welcome to Grace Take and today in this video I'm gonna tell you about the good and bad things of Resurrection Remix ROM on Lenovo K3NO. I already made a video that how to flash Resurrection Remix ROM on K3NO. Kindly check that video if you want to flash this ROM. I have been using this ROM now for more than a week and I'm now a bit busy because my final exams are going on. I will soon upload lots of videos regarding custom roms on an okay note for that stay tuned please stay tuned so guys i do apologize for this in events so without wasting any more time let me tell you about the room guys i'm gonna tell you the good and bad things of this room in this video and i'm not going to explain all the new options here but i will show you all the featured options here and as you can see in the preferred network type we are getting lots of band or mode whatever you say i don't know if it all, all the all will work or not i don't know i, I even check it but maybe it may work or may not work but the options are here wi-fi is working bluetooth is working no issues here the most important and feature rich option of this room is this configuration option. Here you will get lots of options and lots of customization. You can customize your status bar, you can customize your battery icons, you can customize your network icons, you can customize your display color balance, everything which you able to customize on your Cyanogen mod devices because this room is based on Cyanogen mod that's why you are getting all the options here and the developer has added lots of options here so do not forget to thank the developer of this room because they really worked hard to give us this awesome room support them please support them so they can give us more rooms in the future I can't explain all the options here because you can see it your own eyes so no need to explain all the options here. Guys this ROM is close to stock Android so you will have a good user experience. Uh, everything is very very fluid and very fast. You will not get any lagginess uh, while using this ROM so that's a very good thing. And in this ROM you are getting a very good performance tuning option uh, you can uh, set your device to performance or balanced or power safe or you can control your cpu frequency by using kernel editor apps i recommend you that if you are not a advanced user do not use those options because uh, those options may damage your phone there is a theme user option here so you can change the themes you can download uh, it from play stores because this forum is based on Cyanogen so it's going to support all the Cyanogen themes very well so uh, that's a great thing actually in the storage option there is no option to select your SD card as a default write disk battery life of this room is really good you will get easily 4 hours to 5 hours of screen on time very good easily as you can see though the room is clocked at 2 gigahertz but the battery life is here is very very good but less compared to other custom rooms in terms of memory management the memory management is decent not good it can handle up to three four apps uh, easily you will get average of 500 mb of ram free which is not good but decent i have flashed lots of room in my leno kg node but I haven't get any ROM that can give up to give me average of 1 GB or 900 MB of RAM free. I don't know why, maybe it's a hardware issue or something like that. My earlier phone was Euphoria and you know that the phone have 2 GB of RAM and on that phone surprisingly I was getting uh, 1.2 to 1.3 GB of average RAM free. I don't know why. Um, but here it's very very less and the RAM management was really much better on that UV Euphoria compared to Lenovo K3 no. Guys if you have any solution do let me know in the comments below Guys this ROM is based on Android version 5.1.1 which is lollipop not marshmallow so this is a this is not a good thing 
there are many uh, lots of room here which are running on marshmallow but this is a lollipop but the security patch is here which is very good guys i am using this room for many days but i haven't found any major bugs no bugs actually no force close issue or not responding issue and you can see in the cpu application that this room is clocked at 2.0 gigahertz and now let me show you if all the sensors are working or not and as you can see gyroscope sensor and many other sensors are not working that means you are not able to watch vr especially for gyroscope uh, vr is not possible on this room guys you know that this room is clocked at 2 gigahertz so so you might thinking that there should be a heating issue or a battery draining issue but surprisingly those issues are not present here but i have faced some issues because this room is uh, overclocking my cpu to 2 gigahertz as you can see for this reason when i'm using it heavily my device got freezed got hanged for three four times I have to force stop it so this is not good so I keep my CPU to 1.7 gigahertz for safety gaming performance is also similar nothing spectacular or something like that so I feel 2 gigahertz is not required because 1.7 gigahertz is more than enough so why should I take risk so finally I can say no bugs nothing a very good advanced ROM for advanced user so that's it pretty much for this video guys thank you guys for watching you guys always always have a great day